Hi, today I'm going to talk about male lip lifts. So usually I talk about lip lifts and it's assumed to be a woman because that's who most of my patients are, they're women. But once in a while we get males and we get all kinds of requests. And uh, the best thing I can tell you is don't feel self-conscious if you feel like you need a lip lift. And the reasons are a lot of the times uh, the same that um, women feel. Uh, they feel like they're not showing their front teeth or that they look they're too serious now the one thing that changes is that although the preoperative distance it might be anything the distance that they want uh, later on uh, tends to be more or less the same it, it, it males tend to peak between 1.3 and 1.5 it's not like uh, women usually want like right around 1.1 that's very consistent but I find that males, it, it varies, really. Now, if there's one thing in general I can say is that the shorter you go, the more feminizing it tends to get because it tends to show more of the red vermilion and it tends to give you more of a, a cupid's bow. So this patient uh, was a teacher, didn't want anything special. He just wanted to shorten the lip a little bit, make it look a little bit more uh, friendly and uh, we did it and and I think uh, the result was great now uh, the next patient um, uh, thought he looked uh, too severe too serious all the time and uh, he just uh, asked for again like a 1.3 um, and and again the way we decide this is we have the patient in front of the mirror and go like this and focus on the distance that he likes right in here now, if, if you point with your uh, fingers too close to the filter, right, like this, it looks a little bit like a bunny rabbit, right? But then if you pull out more like this, it looks like a snarl. So it doesn't matter because that's not what the procedure is going to be. The procedure is really about fixing this distance. So what I want you to do is just pull up in here and focus on that distance and pick a distance that you like. Now. This patient, like I said, originally wanted at 1.3 and uh, from out of town, so we did it. Came back, it was very happy, it looked a lot younger, looked friendlier. Uh, of course, he cut his beard, that might have something to do with it, but hey, looks younger. So anyways, uh, he wanted later to get it done shorter to 1.1. We did it, he's happy, but you know, a lot of these patients uh, that come here are from out of town and I never get to get a good post-up picture. But anyways, this another male patient looks great, 1.3. Now here's another patient and uh, here, again, looked a little bit serious. He did want to show a little bit more of the Cupid's bow, uh, a younger type of look and, uh, you know, so we did it. Uh, and as you can see, the lip now is showing more. When he holds his mouth open, you still can't see the front teeth, okay? Uh, so this is not like a super short lip, but in this particular patient, we get more vermilion show. It does give a younger look, uh, and it's right at the border where I would say, you know, if you do more than that, it starts getting feminizing. Having said that, what I will add is that uh, some patients actually want to do a feminizing look and this patient is a transgender patient of mine and uh, he originally uh, had the lips like this he always had a pronounced cupid's lip but now he wanted like a real like china doll type of lip and uh, we did it all to 1.1 and um, you know he, when when she puts lipstick on now she looks great um, this patient's actually a patient that I've really come to like a lot, a philosophy professor. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, great result. Uh, and again, with males, uh, you can get anything from just a little bit of a refreshing to a more youthful look uh, to a completely uh, feminizing look. And it's all okay, depending on what you want to do. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, if you like it, subscribe and leave a like bottom on the top on the bottom that really helps me thank you